everyone. Today I am at school and in fact the kids are still here. It's my conference period. Um, so you might hear some kid noises. Today I wanted to share with y'all in a bit more detail how I have set up and organized my teacher corner. Um, this year I feel like I've finally gotten something that's going to be super effective. It has been very helpful so far. A lot easier to keep everything organized. So hopefully it can give some ideas. Um, and I'm quite proud of it, so I'm happy to show it off. Let's get into how I set up my teacher corner. I know a lot of teachers tend to not want to do a teacher area because it takes up a lot of space, but I have found it's super helpful. Um, so first thing I have is, of course, a trash can. I have a line kind of marking where the edge is. It seems a little weird, almost like I'm marking my territory, but it gives students a guideline if for those who need it, especially because they're in middle school. Have that same tape on the cabinet over here. This is where I put general kind of cleaning supplies. And then I have my humongous desk. And on my desk, I have lots of things. I have a big, huge work area here. Since I am an art teacher, I find it pretty necessary to have my personal space to make artwork. And then um, in the corner there, we have the turn-in box. And then along the window here I have a pencil jar I have some kind of folders of copies of things I used often I have all of my binders then my computer sometimes is here and then kind of whatever else I need um, underneath I keep a pair of nice dress shoes I tend to not wear dress shoes very much so I keep them in case I need them um, have computer bag over there have office supplies in here I have my snack stash and extra office supplies over here big things um, there is my prize container a random collection of art supplies and toys and things top drawer over here I have my humongous collection of dry erase markers and I know y'all are gonna be like oh my gosh you have a lot well Half of them work for like five minutes and then don't look so good. And a lot of these are colors like pink that tend to stain whiteboards. So I don't use them very often. Got all my rags and my sprays. Um, this drawer have band-aids, erasers, hot glue gun, stapler, hole puncher. Um, the next drawer, paper clips, student pencils, and pens, whenever students give me, or not give me, but they leave pencil or pens in my classroom, they go in here. Um, this is for pen only sharpened pencils. I have detention students sharpen pencils for me, so they go in there. Have my big Sharpies for poster making, extra marker caps and Sharpie caps in case we can't find one, we have one. Um, off supplies, these. I will definitely talk about when I talk about how I organize student papers, but I have one for, or I have a handful of them for every class period, so I can just paper clip it to that class period. It helps me keep things organized. So that's the inside of my desk. Then back over here, I have a small table. I keep my personal computer there. I use it like maybe half the time. Um, I have a few trays for to-do kind of things, like that's my current project example. I might get more into it in another video. I um, have all of my paper sorting here of different things for students. More paper sorting here of students' artwork. And then phone, file cabinet. Um, this one I have my binders, my special place for when I collect student cell phones, um, clipboards. Next drawer, I have notes, kind of important papers, signed contracts, and then this is a bunch of resources that I might need at random times, so it's there. This is not content resources, by the way. These are just things like graphic organizers and extra copies of handouts that we use throughout the year. Um, next drawer is my curriculum drawer. And I have it organized by starting in the back as the beginning of the school year, then it gradually goes up to the end of the school year, then the ones at the very front are the ones I did not use last year. I'm not sure if I'm going to change this system. 
I had thought I might, so I made these binders over here, but so far I'm thinking uh, I don't really care about that. It's just a lot easier to do the files. We'll see how it goes. Last drawer, even more office supplies. I showed this in one of my vlogs. Um, all of my papers and things like that are sorted by type. Extra cords, file labels. Then um, up here, we have my personal board, some artwork, a ton of different artwork kind of all around. Big artwork hanging on the ceiling. Um, so that's kind of my teacher area. I find it super, super effective. It is my favorite place in my room and I'm really happy that I invested the time to set it up correctly and very thoroughly, as well as um, I, I really enjoy it because it's very effective in terms of organization. This year I've been able to stay on top of grades a whole lot more. So students are able to kind of work a little bit faster since I'm able to see where they are right away and kind of move on to the next thing. Um, so I'm really happy with it. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.